flush the fuel in the tank around to get it over near the fuel pickup. Uh, so if we see her doing that at some point, she may know a lot about how to keep a vehicle going that is running out of gas. I thought I saw that, but that might have been a false alarm. And Dave, you were saying that vehicles like this have two fuel tanks often, right? And she would have to switch over to the secondary tank if she started to get low on the first one, and she might not know how to do that. Well, they can. I don't know that this one does, but sometimes they'll have uh, dual fuel tanks, and when you're briefed on the vehicle, when you go to the rental place, they'll tell you, here's one tank, here's another tank, and there's usually a toggle switch, this fairly well strange. marked. Mm -hmm. If it does, in fact, have those, she may not know how to switch it over, but I think at this point, if she's got one large fuel tank, or if it does have dual tanks, she's figured out how to switch it over, because uh, I don't think she would have gone very far on one tank. If it had dual tanks, each tank would only be good for about 20 gallons, so I'm guessing... And, uh, that, uh, Bill, uh, all right, Bill, now she's really, this is very strange. If, if she knows what she's doing and is trying to slosh the fuel around and keep this thing going, then that's what it appears to be happening here. But, man, this uh, you're talking about this big vehicle and uh, veering around like this. What, what are we seeing here? What's ahead of her? Yeah, well, very bizarre control input. You'll see her moving left to right and left to right, uh, weaving in and out of uh, lanes. They're actually staying in her lane, but she's adding some very bizarre control movements to the steering wheel. And why, as anybody's guess, this is Los Angeles uh, Street or Los Angeles Avenue and Santa Clara Avenue in Oxnard. Now, we're indicating about 75 miles per hour on the helicopter and on a canyon road uh, this narrow, only two lanes. This is the wrong time and the wrong speed to be driving like that. Uh, whatever her uh, reason is, uh, coming up on a big intersection in just a second here, we've got CHP officers just behind her. I can also see that Ventura County Sheriff's helicopter right on top of that suspect. She'll make left turns and right turns trying to loot everybody. It looks like a wrong uh, wrong side of the street there. That's Santa Clara Avenue. It looks like she'll be She's northbound on Santa Clara Avenue. Uh, there have been some discussions this afternoon about spike strips or stop, uh, stop sticks. If they've been implemented, we can't tell. Looks like the tires are still fully inflated. And why she's controlling the vehicle that way, uh, really unclear right now. But it looks like she's going slower and slower, fortunately, from about 60, maybe 70 miles per hour down to about 15, maybe 20 miles per hour. There is that possibility. This has been going on now for well over two hours. It's possible she's running out of gas, doing all she can to keep that engine running. When that engine runs, she's going to lose her power brake. She'll lose her power steering if that truck has it as well. And it'll be extremely difficult to maneuver. I can tell you there's some traffic here. They're all very aware of what's going on. They see that uh, Grand Theft Auto suspect. They see what she's up to. And yep. they see those police officers right behind her. Now she's coming to a complete stop. She police officers on their loudspeakers going to mm. give her very specific instructions with regard to what they want her to do. Oh, and they'll try oh, to keep goodness. that passenger traffic away. Out of the car, making a run for it. Looks like she'll uh, run down Santa Clara. She might try to carjack oh, no. somebody, get inside somebody's car. Good maneuver. They kept running. Now there's a CHP officer right behind her. In just a second, he'll jump on her and tackle her. And there she goes down to the ground. Other police officers, they're right behind her. They'll get her in cuffs in just a matter of seconds. And all you can't see it, two police officers right on top of that Grand Theft Auto suspect. A number of other police officers that will be coming in any second now. There's a police dog as well. And there's nowhere for that suspect to go. So fortunately, after more than two hours, a Grand Theft Auto suspect out of the uh, Antelope Valley wound her way into Ventura County here in Oxnard and finally this has come to an end that one suspect has been handcuffed, taken into uh, custody and fortunately this nightmare of a pursuit for CHP officers and County Sheriff's deputies has finally come to an end and apparently no serious injuries. Wow. Reporting wow. live from Air 7 HD on Bill Thomas. Charges, uh, an attempt either carjacking, carjacking or an yeah. attempt auto theft because of the fact that she tried to get into that other person's car. Uh, another reason for all of us to remember while we're driving down the road to keep our doors locked because mm -hmm. we've just seen that uh, just about anything can happen in Southern California. She gave a run for it. She uh, made a run for it, uh, but obviously was not was no match for the pursuing California Highway Patrol officers who've now taken her into custody. They're not going to have to check the uh, that uh, vehicle as well. They're going to have to check that U-Haul truck and see what, if anything, she may have been carrying in it. Uh, and, and really, after they continue this investigation, try to figure out what prompted all of this in the first place. It is really something, though, Michelle, to have yes. seen uh, the way this thing ended. She was really determined uh, to you know, make a getaway there as the vehicle was, she was driving so erratically, making it go back and forth for the last few minutes there. Uh, maybe it was because the vehicle was running out of fuel and then came to a stop and made a run for it and fortunately it wasn't able to get into that vehicle mm -hmm. uh, that she ran up to. This Either they had the doors locked or she just decided at the last minute to keep running. Clearly somebody who knew a little something about this vehicle mm -hmm. too and, and was able to drive it. I'd be very interested to find out the background of this individual 
to know enough about drive, you know, do, doing that back and forth maneuver to keep the fuel sloshing, as Dave Kuhn said, to keep uh, to get gas uh, flowing to the uh, the intake there. Where's the van? And uh, she ran off okay, pretty fast it. too. I just I'd be curious to see what sort of uh, background Trace, this person band, might have if you could find it. Uh, to to have that sort of knowledge and be able to to move there you in go. that way. So. We may never good. know. Rear is clear. Point, but they, they have checked out the back of the truck. And, and a medium shot of the whole scene. Looks empty. Good. Yeah. And uh, so this police pursuit has come to an end uh, in the Oxnard area. Uh, no one has been hurt, and the suspect is now in custody. We will have uh, more on this story coming up tonight on I-1.